Good morning beautiful friends from Singapore. I just realized uh, it's been one year since I stopped vlogging as uh, yeah last year I stopped traveling, settled down in Dubai so it just didn't make sense to me anymore to keep vlogging but I don't know I'm kind of back to traveling now that I'm working remotely from Singapore for a couple of weeks so just got inspired again. <laughs> so I thought I could do a little day in my life to show you guys what it looks like to live slash work remote from Singapore. Okay, so I was saying I stopped traveling exactly one year ago after six months of um, solo traveling in, in South America and I really needed some stability. I got this job in Dubai which I really love, now I'm settled there and the cool thing is that we do have an office but we also are allowed to work remotely so I just took, actually I took two weeks of leave, I was just traveling in India and uh, then because I was already around I also decided to come here uh, to Singapore for three weeks uh, but I am working remotely so um, yeah, I really like it. I think it's a, like a good balance between traveling and uh, continuing with your daily life. I love the city and uh, I'm gonna show you a little bit of it now that I'm gonna go for a walk. Actually, it's not a coincidence that I'm here because um, I was here in 2019 for six months when I did my semester abroad uh, during my bachelor and it was just like, I would say, confidently say this was the best time of my life. So I think that's why this city has such a special place in my heart because I think it's, yeah, it's because I had like the best memories here in this place. But yeah, like besides the memories, I think objectively this is like I would say one of the best cities to live in. Like, it's so modern, it's clean. Oh my God, like, I think I've never seen such a clean city. <laughs> when, I, when I saw the toilets in the metro station, like, I thought it were like actually cleaner than my own bathrooms at home. Like, seriously, <laughs> it's so clean. And everything is so efficient and innovative. I don't know, I really like the vibe. And I think the most unique thing is like, I think it's the only big city that has like, let's say a big business hub with like skyscrapers, a lot of companies, but also like it's immersed in such a green space. Like you have palm trees everywhere. It does feel very green as if it's like built in the middle of a jungle, which is probably the truth. So it's so unique. I love it. Just done with my morning walk. I just entered the so-called Marina Bay link. So it's basically like a tunnel, like an underground shopping mall that connects different metro stations. And it's really cool because it's just filled with like places to eat and cafes. So I guess it's mostly for people who work up here because it's literally um, below the financial district. So around lunchtime it's really full of people, but I'm just gonna go grab some breakfast now. I just realized we've run out of milk and fruit so I'll just quickly stop by the grocery store and pick up a couple of things. So I got this bottle of milk and two mangoes for a total of eight Singapore dollars which is about six US dollars. I'm gonna start my day now and uh, I was just reflecting like I'm, I'm feeling really blessed that I can work remote because I know like not every company offers this Kind of flexibility and actually i just realized that i work even better when i'm here because here we are seven hours ahead of my colleagues based in europe and four hours ahead of those based in dubai so uh, it really gives me like i'm a morning person i love my morning hours and i can work really well um so being like having so much time when other people are sleeping it really gives me like that uninterrupted focus to do like uh, more creative stuff more you know like writing and just coming up with like good ideas or just work more focused because i don't have like messages and meetings coming all the time so um, 
yeah it's really good for me so today i'm gonna spend the morning mostly uh writing some emails and um creating some websites and then in the afternoon i'm gonna have most of my meetings because that's how i structure my days in this period like i only have meetings in the afternoon when, when people wake up I'm starting to feel a little tired so I thought I would take a quick break and go to the gym downstairs it's here in the building and uh, yeah just to move my body a little bit and rebound my energy this is the gym it's quite spacious for a building gym by the way now there's not even that many people so I love working out at this time there's even this little thingy for to do some bouldering I guess but my favorite thing is the view Oh my god, I hadn't worked out in almost three weeks now and it feels so good. Like when, when I don't work out for a long time, like I get reminded of how much I love to work out, especially like I'm trying I'm doing my best to not um, like force myself to ever work out if I don't feel like because I wanna keep it as something that I really enjoy. So yeah, like it really felt so good today. <laughs> and uh, I mean it's still not my favorite kind of workout, like I prefer doing workouts outside with a lot of people like i don't like doing my own thing at the gym because also i don't really push myself that much and i don't have <laughs> creativity to change up my my routine but uh yeah this is better than nothing at least i i got something done and my favorite part of this building is the pool actually the pools because there's i think three or four now that i come here i want to stay <laughs> but your girl has to go back to work and um, which made me think like actually Having a pool in your building is such a cool idea, like on paper, but for example, I do have a swimming pool in Dubai and I think I've been there like twice <laughs> in six months because I don't know, like then when it's part of your daily life, you don't really make time to come and enjoy the pool. I'm just like always have something else which is more productive or seeing people, whatever. So I think, I don't know, it's not really my thing, but I, like, I love the idea of having a pool. There's also this cool space to organize barbecues. Um, which actually is a thing here. In Dubai, I don't think we really do barbecues. Like I've never really heard of barbecues, barbecue parties. Maybe also because it's really hot. Um, but here, like it's really it's it's a thing. And actually, there's also a tennis court, which I didn't know was here. Wow. Well, I'm uh, going to grab lunch now. I am at Lao Passat, which is uh, the biggest food court in Singapore. And I really like this concept. It's really common here. Basically, you have a lot of different like small restaurants in the same place and then with tables in the middle. And I think it's the best way to basically try out different local foods and basically from all over the world, especially Asian food. And, uh, and it's also cheaper than other restaurants, so I'm gonna see what I find. So normally I always get um, part time when I when I eat time, but today I wanna I want to try something different. So I was asking people around what they were having, and they suggested this pad C with chicken. Really good actually. I like it. Okay, you guys. I think this vlog is gonna end here because after lunch it just working and uh, I had a dinner with a friend of mine whom I met back in 2019 during my exchange she's from here we just had uh, dinner together but I forgot to vlog that <laughs> and uh, nothing I hope you enjoyed this vlog I love Singapore I said it so many times <laughs> but uh, I'm also excited to go back to my my Dubai life and maybe keep vlogging in Dubai as well so stay tuned uh, like and subscribe if you like this video and I'll see you in my next one